welcome back to my channel where I talk about vintage fashion and vintage crafts and just a bunch of cool stuff. So today I have a haul. It's like a mini haul, but it's very exciting. It's fall themed and I went antiquing. So I don't have very many videos of me while I was antiquing or actually looking at any of the things that I bought. But if you're interested in content like that, please leave a comment below and I will make sure to do a shop with me video in the future. But for now, make sure you like, subscribe, and hit the bell notification so that you know the next time I make an upload. Now let's get into it. I have a nice sized bag from my favorite antique store in Southern California. It is not the biggest antique mall in Southern California, but it's my favorite and it's in very close to my hometown. So first, I got this very beautiful hat. They were having a Veterans Day sale, so me and my mom and my daughter go antiquing during their big sale days. Um, this beautiful hat was $24, but it was 25% off, so I feel like I got a good deal. Plus, I needed a halo type hat for Dapper Day this Sunday. And I feel like this is, oh my gosh, the bee's knees. I love it. It was exactly what I was looking for because it is a wool hat and it has feathers. So it's very fall. Since this Dapper Day is the fall Dapper Day, I thought this would be perfect. I also have an ivory suit in which I want to wear. So I'm going to try it all on together and see if that works. Next, it is Knitvember. Are we are we following along on Instagram, Knitvember? I do not own that many knit suits or knit outfits, but I do have a couple, mostly cardigans and sweaters. I love like separates because I can mix and match them with other parts of my wardrobe. But I did find this vintage Janssen um, made in the USA wool suit or wool a uh, knit wool suit. It has a very small collar and I believe it is probably late 60s, early 70s, but I usually style things in the 50s or 40s and I'm sure that I can style this whichever way I want. I tried it on in the store and it fits very nicely. It's a beautiful powdery pink. My daughter liked to say it was like a pink ladies outfit. It did come with the matching skirt. I cannot wait to try it on. I'll do like a little try on after like I usually do. But that was a very cute set. And I think I only ended up paying $30 for this. So to me, this was a score. And plus my favorite color is pink. If you haven't noticed, pink is it. It's where it's at. Next, I have a, another skirt suit, but it is in a woven. It is in this beautiful, like, honestly, I'm going to call it like an autumn peach color because it's just really, really pretty. Oh, so, so cute. It has the hair on it right there, but it, this is the skirt. It is like a pencil skirt, but the suit blazer is like, oh my goodness. So it has gold trim on the sleeves it has no collar but a beautiful like wrap i don't know scallop motif right here it cuts at the waist which when i try this on ugh, is to die for and i don't know what i'm gonna wear under it like as part of like the under like the blouse part because it fits so close to the body I love that it has covered buttons and I love that the buttonholes are like this. I love this. It is probably like in 80s or in 90s. It's BC Florine Watcher. I will look it up, but it gives 1940s vibes, which is my favorite in the whole wide world. So when I try this on, you will see exactly what I'm talking about. <clears throat> if I don't end up liking the ivory suit for Dapper Day, this is going to be the suit I wear because I feel like suits give fall. 
They just give fall. All the vibes. Next, almost last, <laughs> is another cardigan. Oh, and that suit, I only paid $18 for, by the way. So I feel like that was the best score. <coughs> Pardon me. Now, this is a vintage 60s, I would say early 60s cardigan, based off the tag. It is super cute, so going with my knit knit Vember theme, it isn't perfect, it, it, or it isn't in perfect condition, but it is in good condition for me. Like I said, I love separates. <coughs> Excuse me. It has beautiful beadwork on the wrists and the shoulders. I love this because, again, it is giving autumn vibes. The color is like this off peach, off... I off nude and then the beads are just so cute they're like a gold like a dark gold and the buttons are this ivory pearl oh, it's so cute so so cute I feel like I could wear this with a wool skirt like a Pendleton skirt or a, a circle skirt or even with some jeans I'm I'm gonna come into some denim soon so I love this. This was a good find. I ended up paying like $10 for this, so it was a good score. Last but not least is things that you don't wear. <laughs> They're random things, um, but they are a couple of things that I really love because they are grapefruit spoons. And I don't know if you guys like grapefruit. I'm a super grapefruit grapefruit fan. I love citrus fruits and grapefruit is one of my favorites. So there is these special little spoons that actually have teeth on them. And every time I find silverware or like a lot of silverware, I kind of go through them. This time I had my daughter go through them to find me a couple more grapefruit spoons. I do have a few home at home here, but they're littler spoons. They're like the size of teaspoons, I guess. And they go missing because I have a toddler. So I just love when I find some in the wild, if I can sort of show you that it has like these ridges. It makes it perfect for scooping out your grapefruit. If you've never had a grapefruit, this is your sign to try a grapefruit. It is delicious. So that's the end of my vintage antiquing haul. And I hope that it um, made you happy to watch and that maybe you found some awesome Knit Vember finds as well. Maybe you're going to Dapper Day in Anaheim this weekend. If you do, stop me and say hi. And other than that, I will see you guys on my next video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell notifications for more vintage and sewing vlogs. Sewing vlogs are going to be with me and my daughter, so that's going to be really fun, and I'm excited to bring that. And I will see you soon. Here's the knitted pink ladies suit. I love it. It gives that sweater girl body shape. I think it's very feminine and dainty looking. I paired it with my match accessories brooch, which I feel is a nice touch. Again, I feel like this is probably late 60s, but it's still very beautiful and I loved how I felt in it. Next is the 1940s-esque suit. I'm pretty sure this is probably 90s does, 80s does 40s. But I love, love the fact that it stops at my waist. I love the shoulder pads. I love the shape that it gives my body. It was super glam. 1940s glam all the way. Next is the ivory suit. I didn't show it when I was talking, but I was talking about it. I got this on Poshmark for $12, I think. This is what I wore, wore, ended up wearing to Dapper Day. I dressed it up like this. This was for my try-on because I was comparing suits. This suit is definitely like an 80s suit, but I liked it. I was like, with different underwear, this would work because I really wanted to wear that hat. And then this is the cardigan. 
that I really like the beadwork on. I paired it with this sweater clip that I inherited from Kenny's grandma. And again, I think this little clip gives it like a perfect vibe. I love these cardigans, especially like if they don't fit all the way around the bust, at least they cut right at my waist and then they give me that hourglass shape still. I love that you can pair it with jeans, a skirt. It just fits and it works and I love the neutral color. Next, this is what I ended up wearing to Dapper Day. I paired it with a 1940s purse that I thrifted when I was a teenager and kept it all this time. That hat, a corsage that is orchid and mink. It was vintage, 1940s, I believe. If you liked what you've seen, please subscribe, like, and share. And I will see you in the next video.